It was perhaps Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century who first put pen to paper in an attempt to bring to life man's desire to fly. Since then, we've come a long way, and the ability to take to the air is taken for granted by most people as simply a fast and safe form of transport. There are among us, however, many for whom the magic of flight has not vanished, and who will still sit down with pen and paper and attempt to give their dreams shape and form. One such individual is Ivan Shaw, who has taken his dreams that bit further and actually designed and built his own aircraft, the Europa. I designed the Europa because looking at the kit plane industry or the home built industry in general, it was my view that the designs that tended to polarize from the 200 miles an hour, fast glass, high tech, to the classic uh, 1930s uh, type aircraft. And there wasn't a great deal in between. I wanted an aircraft that would give me the utility, the field performance of the 1930s classic aircraft. But yet, I wanted a good turn of speed and I wanted this technology. I wanted to have the advances in structures and in aerodynamics. And so the whole idea with the Europa, the whole intention, was to marry the two. G Euro was the prototype Europa, and as such was put through some 250 hours of gruelling test flights and modifications, all of which it came through with flying colours. G Elsa was the first kit-built Europa, and was seen as the benchmark for all of the first few hundred aircraft assembled. In the spring of 1997, the Trigear version was made available. Based on G-kits, trials have been a complete success. In 1998, the XS was added to the Europa stable of aircraft and is currently taking the aviation market by storm. The XS takes the Europa to new heights in general aviation. There's increased speed and range, extra baggage space and more comfort all from a quick build kit, 500 hours being realistically achievable. Nineteen ninety nine saw the introduction of the motor glider. This latest edition gives the Europa even wider appeal. The basic concept of the Europa was quite simple to design an aircraft that makes real flying affordable. An aircraft that can be built and kept at home, easily transported to the nearest airport or farmer's field, filling up with ordinary car petrol on the way, but can be rigged, ready for flight in under five minutes. Then carry two people in comfort with their baggage for 500 nautical miles at speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Good afternoon, Europa Aircraft Company. Yes, at sir, Europa, there's a dedicated team working for the builder. Here, manufacturer of the kits, sales support, builder support helpline, and research and development are all under one roof to provide a total quality product and service. Since its launch, 
the Europa has received great acclaim by the world's flying press and recognition in the form of awards and commendations from many aviation bodies, notably in the fields of innovation and design. In designing the Europa XS kit, the aim was to give maximum enjoyment with minimum frustration. No prior knowledge of kit building is assumed. From the outset, it was designed with the first time builder in mind. The kit is divided into four parts. Stage one being the tailplane, rudder, flaps and ailerons. Stage two, the wings. Stage three, the fuselage. And stage four, the engine and its systems. The fuselage is made up of three separate mouldings. These are made from state-of-the-art pre-preg composites. The firewall is made from a new material called Sferatex and a phenolic resin. This is totally fireproof and is bonded into the bottom fuselage during the layup process. Many layers are built up at the most structurally demanding areas, with all hard points for seat belt attachments, wing attachments, engine mounts and undercarriage mounts being included. Once the layup process is complete, the mold is vacuum bagged and oven cured. The fuselage kit comes as a set of pre-preg mouldings. The bottom fuselage moulding can be thought of as like a boat hull, and this is fitted out with the tailplane assembly. Once the cockpit module has been fitted out with the control systems, it simply bonds to the bottom fuselage with an aerospace adhesive. The moulding gives everything from hard points for seat belt attachments, wing pickup and engine mount, to the fuel tank space, baggage area, rollover structure and the rear bulkhead. The top fuselage is then bonded with the same adhesive. This also consists of all rebates for the doors. The instrument panel again is pre-molded and just needs to be fitted with instruments. The gull wing doors come pre-molded and pre-assembled, leaving just canopy latches to be installed and the perspex bonded in. The engine cowling and spinner are made to the same high standard and only require a light finishing. The wings are pre-molded and largely pre-assembled with ribs and spars at the factory, ensuring accuracy and the correct washout is achieved. The skins are made with a pre-preg reinforcement and are vacuum bagged and oven cured. Like the fuselage, the wings are covered with an epoxy gel coat. Once the pitot system has been installed, Flaps and ailerons need to be attached. And finally, just one panel bonded into place. There is no need for welding or machining. All components are precision engineered to the highest quality at the factory. Inspection is carried out on all parts before dispatch to make sure they come up to Europa's exacting standards. The control stick assembly, for example, slots simply together. It comes complete with holes drilled and bushes fitted. Similarly, the outriggers require minimal assembly. Working with composites is a straightforward procedure as long as all the instructions are followed. A resin and a hardener are mixed together to make an epoxy. This epoxy resin is the basis of the composite system. For structural purposes, we add a phlox cotton to the epoxy resin. This is mixed to a creamy consistency, which gives us flocks, which we use for structural corners and joints. We may also add micro, a lightweight filling material to the epoxy resin. We use this either in a slurry to fill the pores of the foam, or we can add more micro and use it as a lightweight filler. We call this dry micro. This comes up with a double whipped cream consistency. We use this for finishing the aircraft. Two different types of cloth are used in the construction process, unidirectional and bidirectional. Composite work has been reduced to a minimum of tailplane, flaps, rudder and ailerons. These consist of pre-cut foam cores, which also incorporate the jig blocks. Apply a micro slurry to the foam, lay the cloth over the foam core, trim with scissors and wet out. 
After applying a second layer and leaving to cure overnight, the strength of the structure is obvious. Nous conseillons de prévoir entre 600 et 1000 heures pour le montage. At its UK headquarters, the team are fluent in most European languages and handle sales inquiries from all over the world. A computer database enables quick and easy access to any area of the construction process, facilitating prompt solutions. Help is also available by fax, post or email. The builder's manual is hard bound and professionally written instructions take the builder step by step, showing what to do, how to do and when to do. Working on the old adage, a picture is worth a thousand words, there are many diagrams and exploded views to make assembly that much clearer and easier. Once you've finished building your Europa, the owner's manual comes complete with plasticized checklist and covers everything from first weight and balance calculations through winter flying, technical log, aeroplane performance to aircraft maintenance. There's even a pilot's log. Stock support allows you to order the next stage of your kit or simply request an extra set of nuts and bolts accidentally mislaid in your workshop. All orders are prepared strictly to a checklist before dispatch. Even the mixing sticks and jugs are supplied. All hardware comes with a checklist in a protective box, making that elusive part that much easier to find. The main drive behind the Europa is to minimize the building time whilst maximizing the pleasure. Europa is committed to continuing research and development. And to this end, a team of engineers are continually looking at better ways of doing things. For example, the gas shock struts on the gull wing doors are molded into their own rebate. That also doubles as part of the rollover protection cage. Also, the new excess tail wheel assembly, mounted further aft, gives easier ground handling in both the takeoff and landing phases of flight. The Europa will fit into a single garage. By having the aircraft at home, basic maintenance and repair work can be easily carried out and expensive hangar fees eliminated. There's also the bonus of added security. The Europa transporter is designed specifically for the aircraft, giving a totally integrated transport system. Easily hitched to any car, the aircraft is protected whilst also enabling the navigation of narrow, windy roads. The Europa will run quite happily on avgas, leaded or unleaded fuel. The positioning of the fuel tank in the fuselage means there's no need to drain the wings when de-rigging. Any spills simply run off onto the floor, not into the cockpit. As you drive off, Bear in mind that the same unleaded you fill your car up with could be returning 50 miles to the gallon in the Europa. Why drive further than you have to? The Europa rigs in under five minutes. The transporter...